So, you guys clicked on this video, so that means you want to learn how to beat this guy, Margit, the Fell Omen, one of the first bosses you meet in Elden Ring, and I'm here to give you a step-by-step -step guide on the way that I figured out how to do it, and I think will be helpful to new players as well. Alright boys, so obviously when you go to fight Margit, you're going to have to traverse the mist, and once you come in, you're going to lock onto him, and I like to dodge around, break these spears because you can get caught up on them, uh, he might throw his daggers, you're just going to dodge the side of those, but this is one of the attacks you're going to want to lock out for when he jumps up. Once he reaches the apex and starts to come down, that's when you're going to want to dodge, roll behind him, do a heavy attack, which is what I prefer because it does the most damage and gives you the most time to get out before he does a follow-up attack. The next attack you're going to want to look out for is when he raises his staff above his head and then he lunges at you. You're going to want to wait and then dodge the first swipe, but don't quick dodge right after and delay it and then dodge again to dodge a second swipe because if you do it too early, he will end up hitting you. Then, again, you're going to want a heavy attack uh, behind him because he may jump back, but he may also follow up with another attack. Usually it'll be a side swipe, which you're going to have to delay a little bit before the dodge because you can't just spam dodge. Panic dodging is one of the worst things you can do in the game. Um, and once you dodge that, you're just going to want to run away and keep space between you and Margit. So another way Margit will like to close the distance between you is he will throw that little uh, holy dagger and then he will jump towards you and lunge with a side swipe, dodge the dagger, and then you're going to kind of have to get used to it because you're going to want to just spam the dodge button, but your iframes will run out before he does the side swipe and he will hit you and stagger you. So you're going to want to be ready to delay and then dodge. So once you get Margit to about three quarters health, he's going to bring out this uh, holy hammer and he's going to do this jump attack. Once he reaches the apex and starts to come down similar to the other attack, that's when you're going to want to dodge behind him and hit. He will follow up with a multitude of, of different attacks. Here he ended up doing a attack where he brings out his long holy sword and does two swipes with that and then one swipe with his staff. So again, you're going to want to be ready to delay before you do those dodges or else you will get hit. So, you're going to want to keep your distance from Margit, and here's the reason why. Because when you keep your distance, he will tend to bring out his two golden daggers and throw them at you. But, that is usually a trigger when he goes into his jumping hammer attack, where you can either roll away and heal, or roll past him and get damage off. So, that is one of the attacks that you're going to want to be baiting out, and that's why you're going to want to kind of uh, range Margit out, so to say. Alright, so here's another example of one of the attacks that Margit will do after he does one of his uh, big windup attacks that you're going to damage after is he will first bring out his staff and the golden hammer and he will swing both of them in quick succession and you're going to want to roll behind him when he does that and you'll be able to get another attack off but in this case he did a follow-up attack to the follow-up attack uh, which usually he won't do but you should be prepared for that because I did end up getting hit but that is something that is another way to get some good damage off. So here's an example of an attack that Margaret will do if you do not space yourself out enough and you stay too close to him, is he will bring out the long holy sword and his staff and just kind of spin around and throw out about four or five slashing attacks, which you're going to have to dodge, but it's also difficult because you have to delay each dodge. You can't spam roll or you'll end up doing what I did and get hit, but this is something that you will have to learn as you progress further in the game. So, having to do it on the first boss is not necessarily a bad thing. You just have to make sure that you are prepared to delay your rolls slash dodges. So, here's another example of me just spacing Margaret out and waiting for him to do an attack that is easy to dodge and has lots of end lag, so you can have plenty of time to damage him after, which is also how I ended up beating Margaret and is a almost surefire way for you to beat Margaret as well. And if you found this video helpful in any way, please make sure to like and subscribe for future guides and content.